Cheers to everyone for watching. My name is Mitchell. You're watching the Stereo Picture Society. This is a channel where I review Canadian albums. And today I'm going to be doing an album review of Lou Phelps' new record, 002 Love Me. This is the second full length album from Lou Phelps. He is a rapper, producer, and DJ from Saint Hubert, Quebec. And this record took my attention from when I expected Metric's album to be released on Last Gang Records. This album took its place instead. And not only that, but Lou is also the younger brother of K Trinata, who became known nationwide for his DJing and production on his album 99.9%, .9%, which won the Polaris Music Prize in 2016. Last year, Lou Phelps released his album 001 Experiments, which was a collection of like eight tracks. And I didn't really connect to most of the tracks, like the, the major ones such as Tell Me and What Time Is It? But I also took into account the huge Kendrick Lamar influence that he had on those tracks. And Kendrick definitely influenced his rapping style and his narrative flows that we see on Love Me. As a whole, Love Me is pretty much a good party hip-hop album laced with a whole lot of elements from R&B. It's nothing dark, it's nothing offensive, even though a lot of the songs are in a minor key. Most of the tracks on here are based on funky percussion patterns, and if not, they're based on some pretty smooth and sharp R&B pianos, which we see on my favorite track from here, Squeeze. I really like the detailed storytelling that Lou's providing on here. Pretty much how he's setting up this girl at a party and then progressing his way through the track after that. I also like the subtle nods to Frank Ocean and Daniel Caesar and uh, the six. The bars were really smooth and smoother yet was Jack Hoy's feature on the hooks. It was definitely a very snappy track, something I think I'll come back to. Snappier yet was the production on the track before it, Come Inside, which features K Trinata on the production and also features a little tall boy that I reviewed already, Jazz Cartier. I thought K Trinata's choice to make some of the instruments on here sound sharper and louder than they actually are was an interesting decision. We hear that on the icy high piano clinks on the hook and also on the loud and sharp kick drum which we hear throughout the entire track. And I think this made a lot of nice room for the bass and Lou's vocals when the verse started. It was really groovy, really snappy, really sweet. I do wish that Jazz's verse was louder as well though. Maybe if he had double jacked his vocals or if it was just louder in the mix. I also liked the synths and the warbly little psychedelic vibe that I got off of the track Higher. I wanna go higher, say higher. Now as I mentioned before, Kendrick Mars' influence does affect some of the tracks on here a lot more than one would hope. To the point that on tracks such as Miss Fatty and Go, Lou is sounding pretty much like Kendrick without his uh, trademark nasally delivery. I think out of any song that Lou does his Kendrick flows for, he does it best on the song Tasty. But even still, Tasty features the set of bars by this rapper named Pony, and Pony has this weird uh, vocal doubling where he's pretty much talking in a higher voice on like half of the bars that he's saying. It kind of got really weird to pick up and to listen to after multiple listings of it. And even still, I got a huge backseat freestyle vibe from the production and it flows on this thing. I also appreciate the song Two Seater. The production matches the uh, the theme of the song with Lou talking about just pretty much driving and how he feels in being in a car. But if the track had a darker production and moodier vibes, I think that I would enjoy it a little bit more. The album ends off on the song Want To. It's this 808 and bounce music based track. That's pretty much this gloat track that's pretty much Lou talking about um, just fashion and jewelry and stuff. I think it kind of ruined the intelligence and uh, fun, easygoing nature off of um, the rest of the album. And also that this track is Lou's attempt at making a Spotify hardcore hip hop playlist. This closing track and other tracks such as August Rain and Fun Games, which actually it's, it's raining right now, it's funny. <laughs> I felt that these tracks could have been a little bit more interesting and had some other elements to it, just so that it can keep me coming back 
to listening to it and enjoying it. Still, it's not a bad project at all, and Lou definitely holds his own and shows some versatility throughout the project. I think for this album's length being just over half an hour, it's definitely listable one way through. And I see good fundamentals on this. Hopefully Lou improves and keeps on writing and gets into some interesting uh, concepts to work off of. And I'm really glad that I got to introduce myself to some more hip-hop artists and artists outside of Ontario. Out of my handy dandy enjoyment chart, I'm going to give Lou Phelps' record a solid happy face. So congrats made for the album. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and share it with all of your music friends. And you can subscribe! You can subscribe! You can subscribe! to my channel. If you're interested in what I'm up to and what I'm listening to, you can check me out on Twitter. My handle is Mitchell Hall SPS. And some more links to follow my work and lose music are in the description below as well. So yeah, cheers again for watching. I hope you're all staying warm and cozy and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.